Welcome back to the final part of Plumbing Express's Frequently Asked Homeowners question where we talk about the flush mate system. So if you hadn't catch the first episode, we want to make sure you go ahead and get a chance to hop back to that first episode, then jump into this episode so you guys can understand a little bit more about that black plastic tank that's inside the china tank of, that's in your house. So in that one, we covered a lot of how it works. In this one, we're going to finish off with a little bit of how it actually uh, does the flushing part of it, and then we're going to dive into what you as homeowners can do to uh, repair or even just take care of the system, and a little bit about the manufacturer. As always, we're going to try to keep you within five minutes, so let me hand this off to Barry, and away we'll go to head it off into finishing up the uh, or talk about the flush mate system. Thank you. But as this presses up against there, so now this same volume of air that was here before is now jammed up against the top, and so it actually is pressurized. And the best way I can think about think, uh, explain this to you is if you take a balloon and you squeeze it. So under normal situations, yes, it's going to it's going to want to uh, blow out the air. But if you squeeze it down and then try to do it, it's really going to force out the air very quickly. And that's, of course, what you're doing here is by having the cylinder coming down through here and basically tapping off where this water can go out. When you trip it, it raises and allows that air to force the water with velocity down out of the tank and into the bowl. Then the cycle begins again. So once this water is evacuated, the air fills back in behind it then the water starts filling back in. So you've got this air, the water starts filling back in and pressing it against the top of the tank again. The, now this is not the toilet tank, but the actual flush mate tank system inside there. And that compresses, causing there to be a, uh, an acceleration of the water whenever it's tripped. So now that you've really gotten a chance to understand how the flush mate system works with the way it compresses the air down and causes it to give it extra velocity, Let's talk a little bit about what it is that you could possibly do yourself. There really isn't a whole lot on these tanks that we recommend any homeowners to actually work on. One of the reasons why is, and it says it right on here, warning to prevent injury, vessel is under pressure, first turn off water supply, then flush system prior to servicing. You have to remember, this vessel is constantly under pressure once it's been filled. So if you were to work on this in any way, shape, or form, whatever amount of PSI is built up inside that is what's going to, call, is what's going to come out if you ever to, to work on this without doing that. Flushmate itself, they definitely make some replaceable parts on here, and they stand behind their product quite a bit. Uh, in the beginning, they did have some issues, and they did have some recalls. Uh, they were able to make the product better and work, uh, work more efficiently. Uh, that's how they were able to continue to get it down from 1.6 to 1.28. But they've also been able to make it so that it works, uh, you know, with less maintenance and definitely has some longevity to it as well. So, again, that, that pretty much wraps up everything that we wanted to go over on these. We don't really recommend that there's too much on here at all that a homeowner work on. What we do recommend is if you do have issues, you want to reach out to your plumber. Um, we are uh, very, very fluent in working on these, so we're happy to work on these. There are some companies that will come out, take a look at them, and just say you just need to get a whole new toilet uh, because they don't like to work on them. That's definitely not the case. These toilets have uh, longevity to them. They definitely work very well. They just have to be tuned sometimes. But on top of that, uh, Flushmate and Sloan uh, has decided that they really want to stand by this product. They, they have a lot of uh, resources out there to be able to make certain it's working correctly and be able to keep it, uh, keep it up and running. Again, they did have some recalls on these. So if you have an older one that uh, it has been recalled, uh, if there's an issue, they'll be able to get your replacement parts for uh, usually a whole brand new tank system that will go in. So using your existing tank, it'd be a whole new flush mate that would work inside that. Now, one of the things that's also nice is they do actually have a system, not available right now, because as of 2021, with everything being on short, uh, short supply, they don't really have this available. But one of the things Flushmate did come up with as well, and it is a nice feature, possibly for homes, but specifically for commercial application, is they have a system that allows for an auto flush. And so what happens with that is there's actually a small uh, sensor that mounts up here on the wall. There's a, a actuator that assembles and it goes down on top of this and it makes it so that you actually have an automatic flushing system so that when somebody sits, when they're within range of that, you can adjust it. Uh, with, when you're within range of it and you are in that range for a certain period of time, when you step away from it, it waits a few seconds and then it will go ahead and flush the toilet. Uh, it also does have a replacement for your actual trip lever here. It becomes a push button that will actuate that same solenoid actuator that's in there. So that is a really nice feature. It's one of the only 
toilets out there that can be installed residentially or commercially that is a tank type that has a actuator like that that's, that's a, like a remote sensor. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This was uh, one of Plumbing Express's frequently asked homeowner questions and we look forward to seeing you the next time. Thank you.